In this discussion, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing integers. Before we get into the rules, let's go ahead and make sure we understand our terminology that we're using here. The word integers is used uh, as a set of numbers very specifically. What we are using is all of our counting numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on, um, and all of their negative values. So things like negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on that way. And of course, our nice central value of zero there. When we talk about integers, then we're talking about all the positive counting numbers and all of their negative counting number counterparts, I guess. Um, all of the rules that we're going to be learning here for multiplying and dividing integers um, can also be used for multiplying and dividing any positive and negative numbers. We're just going to be using, to start out with here, some nice and easy numbers for multiplying and dividing, but the rules will stay the same regardless. Um, when we're dealing with uh, integer rules for how to multiply and divide with positive and negative numbers, similarly to fractions, we have a completely def different set of rules for multiplying and dividing as we do for adding and subtracting. So let's start with multiplying and dividing, which tends to be the easier one for us to work with. When we're multiplying and dividing integers, so let's consider a problem like 5 times negative 7. In this case, uh, we're doing multiplication. One of our values is positive and one is negative. When our signs are different, the answer to my problem is going to be always negative. So when I look at 5 times negative 7, the first number is positive, the second number is negative, so my answer is going to be a negative value. Once you've figured out whether your value is positive or negative, then we just multiply or divide, depending on what kind of problem we were starting with. Multiply or divide the numbers just like you normally would. So 5 times 7 is 35, so 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Now, if our signs are the same, our answer is always going to be positive. And just like last time, we're going to multiply and divide the number. Yeah, can't spell here, divide. The number is just like we normally would. So let's say, for example, we had something like negative 5 times negative 2. In this case, I'm multiplying numbers. They're both negatives, so my signs are the same, which means my answer is going to be positive. Then I multiply the numbers together. 5 times 2 ends up giving me 10 as a solution. Notice these rules work even with things that we already know. Here's 6 times 3, a positive number times a positive number. Because the signs are the same, my answer is positive, just like I have always seen, right, when we've done stuff before, and 6 times 3 gives me a positive 18. So this stuff all works like normal. It also works the same if we're talking about division. If we look at something like negative 15 divided by negative 3, I am doing two negatives. The signs are the same, so my answer ends up being a positive. 15 divided by 3 gives me a positive 5 as a result. Um, now, like I said before, once we know these rules for positives and negatives, they can work for really anything. Let's suppose, for example, that I wanted to multiply negative 2 fifths times 3 fourths. Well, this is a multiplication of fractions problem, but I have positive and negative rules that need to be followed to determine the sign. Here I have two, um, two different signs, right? This one is negative and this one is positive. Signs are different means that the solution to my problem is going to be negative. Once I've decided the sign of my answer, I can go ahead and do the multiplication like I normally would. With our um, multiplication, we're going to multiply across the top and the bottom, but we can look to see if we can simplify anything along the way. In this case, 2 goes into both the top and the bottom, so I can reduce things a little bit. 
and I get negative one fifth times three halves, right? Two divided by two gives me a one, four divided by two gives me a two in the bottom there, and then I can multiply straight across the top. Negative one times three is three, five times two is 10, so negative three tenths is my solution for negative two fifths times three fourths.